Hi guys, SHOT Show 2013. Today we're talking about Brigham Ganza. We're joined by Clemente Scribani Rossi. He's the sales manager in the United States for our Brigham Gun line. Um, Clemente is an Italian name, but he's actually from Australia. And you'll hear it in a second when he opens his mouth. Clemente, thank you for joining us. Let's thank start you. talking about uh, Premium Guns. Mm -hmm. the question that comes around, what is a Premium Gun? What makes a Premium Gun Premium? Okay. Premium gun starts in the actual location where the gun is made. So Beretta's got two assembly uh, factories. Beretta 1, where they make all the semi-automatics and over and under side by side, and Beretta 2, where they assemble all of the SO, DT-11 and luxury guns. And premium gun is the care that is given to each individual detail of the gun, each hand-fitted, handmade component that fits into each gun individually is what makes it a premium gun. So are these handmade guns completely or is there machinery involved? There is obviously machinery involved in the production of the, the parts, but then they're all assembled by hand and hand-fitted. So and what's the advantage in having a hand-fitted gun? Well, hand-fitted gun means that every part is aligned perfectly and ensures that it will last you a very long time. It's hand checked, constantly turned and fitted, and it ensures that the gun is perfect. Okay, so one of the questions uh, that we get asked time and time again is, well, my gun is uh, such and such, and it's $1,000, mm -hmm. and it shoots just the same as a $50,000 gun. Yeah. Is that true? Uh, no, not really. Uh, apart from the, well, there are obvious performance uh, differences between each gun in terms of the pattern, uh, the weight distribution of the gun and how it handles and balances. Beretta's now has a steel in pro technology as you know which is uh, the length of forcing cone which uh, gives us a better shooting gun with better pattern and uh, reduced recoil. So this is one of the many features of our premium guns made possible by our advanced technology and cold hammer forging machines. But when you're looking at a $50,000 plus dollar gun, it's not only about the way it shoots, it's also about the detail of the gun. It becomes a piece of functional art, if you will. So starting with, for example, the aesthetics, the wood, okay. you see it's very fine, very high grade uh, Turkish walnut. and. Uh, the engraving, obviously, all engraving on our SO line is hand engraved. By and I understand, let's, let's talk a little bit about engraving. I understand mm -hmm. that one of the things that can make a price, the price of a shotgun swing quite a bit, is the engraving. Yes. Because just like you were talking about functional art, just like paintings, mm -hmm. there are artists that are highly quoted and artists that are either just beginning or not so highly Absolutely. quoted. How much can a price, the price of a shotgun swing, based just on the engraving? Okay. Well, when you look at our SO5, which I've got right here, it's our, uh, let's say, entry-level SO uh, gun, which uh, retails in America for around $29,000. Now, when you look at the SO6 WLL, which is the highly engraved version of it, its starting price is $50,000. Okay, so uh, you've got a $20,000 yeah, gap. Minimum $20,000, $25,000 gap to start a very highly engraved gun from an SO5. Then you can always go up, you can get really intricate engraving, very fine scroll work, uh, you can have gold inlay on it, and you could essentially pay up to $200,000 of the gun for the... Sky's the limit. When Sky it is absolutely the limit. Uh, our SO6 WLL, usually uh, the standard engravings take about 150 to 200 hours to complete. We have had guns uh, through our uh, stores that have had over a thousand hours of engraving. Wow, a thousand hours of just chiseling away yeah. or... It's all hand done by engravers. Actually, they take every two hours that they work, they have to take 20 minutes off engraving for the eye the strain. So it's extremely complicated work, extremely intricate. And it's just like painting and any other kind of art and sculpting. It's uh, very skillful work. Sure. Um, we talked about the aesthetics and what makes a gun, a premium gun, a premium gun when it comes to the aesthetics. But I understand that there's also differences in the material and how it's, you, you talked about how it's built up. So let's talk about the material, the barrels, the trigger, and so on. Absolutely. So when you look at uh, our SO line, it's a side lock gun, not a side plate gun. So essentially what that means is that all the firing mechanism 
is on the plate. You can remove these plates to work on them, to clean the gun, etc. And all the, the mechanism is on this plate. So that means that if I take the plate off, the inside of the plate is not just blank. It actually has mechanisms on it. It actually has the whole leaf spring uh, mechanism in the side plate. Okay. And going back to the detail and the fine qualities of the gun, if you open the side plates on this gun here, you'll actually see that it's engraved the same way that it is on the outside, on the inside of the plates. Interesting. What about the trigger mechanism? The trigger is a leaf spring trigger. It, um, it's very crisp. Obviously, leaf springs are, are used on all of our fine guns. Um, anywhere from, uh, well, our DT-11 starts with our leaf spring and all the way up to our SO-10s. And, and the mechanism is done by hand? It's, uh... it's all, all the parts, the hammers, the springs, the coils, they're all fitted individually by hand and um, the trigger pull is adjusted by hand as well to ensure a crisp, clean break. What about the barrels? The barrels, uh, when you look at the SO10, and actually I'd like to show it to you very quickly. I'll try not so, to drop it. Yes, please do not. Uh, okay, so looking at the barrels of an SO10, they're very unique in that they're demi-block barrels. As they're what? Demi-block demi barrels. Demi-block barrels, as okay. As opposed to monoblock. And what that means is that generally in a gun you'll have a tube which is fused to a monoblock. Okay, so two parts. Two parts. We'll have the tube, monoblock, and then another tube and a monoblock which is then joined together. With a demi-block barrel, the tube and the block is one piece. Okay. So what that essentially means, apart from having greater strength and greater durability, it also means that on all guns, on most guns that you see, there will be some kind of engraved line or a soldering line here. Okay. Some higher uh, end guns have uh, engraving to hide the solder lines, but this gun is completely blank. It's from that solder line because it's one piece. Okay, and as you're holding that, one of the things that I noticed in detail is that the front bead is not a regular no, uh, this, steel front bead. No, this is actually plated in uh, 24 karat gold. And going back to the premium qualities of the gun, this top rib here is actually also hand cut hand filed. Wow, okay, so it, it really does take hundreds and hundreds of hours to manufacture it, to put it together, then to engrave it. Absolutely, so if you look at uh, even the engraving here, this is our SO10 double double L by the way. You can see anything from the detail of the gold crown on the top lever, or the gold writing on the serial number, or if you look down here, you actually can see engraved on every gun the signature of the master engraver that engraved it. Okay, so it is truly like art. It's so as, art. You're, as you're telling me this, what I'm thinking is I'm thinking about the similarity going back to you know, my, my $700 shotgun shoots a quail just the same. Mm -hmm. It goes to, similar to the uh, watch collector, yes, you can get a Mickey Mouse watch that will tell you that it's 2.10 in the afternoon. Yes. Or you can get a very complicated movement that costs $100,000 from Patek Philippe. Absolutely. Will they tell time? They both will tell time, but in a very, very different way. Exactly. Um, are these guns used? These guns are... Do people buy them and just put them on the wall because they are work of art? There are two kinds of people that buy these guns. There's a person who will buy it, as you said, put it on their wall, just as a work of art, just as any kind of painting that you'll find in a home. And then there's a person that believes, I bought this gun, I paid $100,000 for this gun, I'm going to use it. It is functional. So it's a functional gun. I mean, I've seen a lot of people just take it out duck hunting, quail hunting, in the scrub, and they... I mean, the guns will last longer than you can, so... There's if no... you have it, flaunt it. If you have it, flaunt it. Very good. Um, guns, premium guns at Beretta are found in every corner of every store. Mm -hmm. uh, there's actually a few stores across the United States. Why is it? Okay, so Beretta's philosophy on premium guns is that we'd like to tailor a service to the customer appropriate to the level of the gun that he's buying. So. We've limited our distribution of premium guns to seven premium dealers nationwide. 
and they are the only ones authorized by Beretta to sell the SO10 because when it comes to purchasing a gun like this, since it is so customizable, we want the dealer to be able to offer the customer every option under the sun. So whether it's a customized stock or a different barrel length or the engraving itself, we actually have a book with several sample engravings, but that's all they are, they're samples. You can have any kind of engraving that you want on this gun, including a picture of your dog on the bottom of the receiver or your wife to allow it to buy you the gun. <laughs> And, uh, so, so there's skill in designing, there's skill in manufacturing, there's skill in assembly, there's also skill in selling these guns. There is skill in selling these guns and making sure that every customer has the right gun for themselves. That's very interesting. Now, if one of the people that is uh, watching right now is saying, I got $50,000 burning hole in my pocket, I want to buy a premium gun, where do they go to find out where these dealers are? You can go online on our website. Uh, there's a dealer page where you'll see listed all of our premium dealers. Uh, what's the website? BerettaUSA.com. BerettaUSA.com. Okay. So, I don't have $50,000. Can I borrow this gun and take it up for a spin? Absolutely. Just make sure you take it back. Thank you so much. 50% chance that I'll take it back, but I'll do my very best to, uh, to bring it back. Thank you. Guys, we'll see you later on. I'm going to go fire this beauty. See you later. Bye.